Hey guys, Biscuit here, and with today's video, I wanted to give a bit of a review of the Child of Mecca 144 scale cartograph water slide decals from the USA Gundam store. And I gotta say, with these decals, they look absolutely phenomenal. Um, compared to other water slide decals I've had experience with, say, some uh, in some plane models or some with some of Bandai's kits, there is nothing that can compare to the level of quality put into these decals. Every single one of these de decals um, actually are individually cut out, so that means you could cut r fairly rough around the edges uh, without having to do any cleanup at all uh, for these decals, which is very, very nice. And this is the sheet I have with probably the least taken out because I really love using these. Um, these one sheet for the 1144 scale decals will set you back about three or four dollars. Um, and at the moment there are only two scales, hopefully they'll make more scales uh, of these. This just 1144 and 1100. Um, the 1100 scales, uh, are definitely bigger, but when it comes to decals, I think it's really just a matter of smaller decal, bigger decal. Um, as for these uh, decals, like, what's so special about them besides you know being pre-cut out? Of like, why why should you get them? There is, I cannot stress this enough. So much variety available. First of all, you got this is the second wave of the decals. At the moment, there are three waves available. Um, this is the second wave, uh, and a lot of- some of these decals are actually sty styled after some of the decals you would get in some of the Gundam Wing kits. Um, um, I believe the third wave is maybe styled after some that you would get with, say, um, a Master Grade Iron Bladed Orphans kit, or the only Master Grade at the moment. Um, and these things come in three different colors. I only have the two here, which is white and red, but you could, you also have the option of getting them in black. I personally don't really like the use of a black coloring for a decal, unless I'm doing something not a Gundam, like a plane model or a tank model. Um, but the option there is available. So, um... This is going to be somewhat of a way to show you how you would want to maybe put on a, a few of these and what a model kit would would look like finished with these. I am doing my old high-grade uh, Cosmic Era Destiny Gundam Heine Vest and Fluce colors. Um, and yeah, let's just get right into it. So let's talk about how you're actually going to want to start applying your water slide decals to your kit. I'm going to be using the feet of my Destiny Gundam just as an example. Um, you can go completely crazy with the options you're given. I'm going to be using the second wave red decals uh, just for the sake of example. Um, as for tools you're going to want to be using uh, for applying these decals, you're going to want your water, obviously. Um, as far as I'm concerned, any regular water will work. I'm using tap water. I've seen some people use techniques where they actually heat up the water before they apply their decals. I've tried doing that. I've had no difference uh, with doing it. Um, so yeah, just use kind of any kind of water uh, that you want. You're also going to want a pair of tweezers uh, to help you move around your decal. An X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors um, to cut out the decal from the sheet. Some cotton buds to help dry up the excess water. And, not required, but highly recommended, is Mr. Mark Softer and Mark Setter. These will do wonders for your decals and will give the and will make them super durable. Um, you can apply water slide decals just straight onto uh, the part. Although I don't entirely recommend it, just because uh, they'll probably peel off over time. Um, or if you're 
a person that likes to post and play around with their kits every now and then, they will fall off. So I highly recommend, even if it's just the, even if it's just one of the two, um, both do absolute wonders for the model uh, that you're going to be applying your decals on. So, first of all, we're going to take, say, hmm, I'm going to go with a very uh, neutral one. We'll go with this decal here. So, you're going to want to cut around uh, the decal. You can be, uh, because these are already pre-cut, um, you can be, you can cut uh, fairly far uh, from the decal on the paper uh, that you're cutting it from and taking your tweezers just to easily hold them in place. You're going to want to soak them in water for about 30 seconds to a minute. So what I like to do after um, I've soaked the decal in water for a bit, I like to pull it out and let it sit with the bit of water that's still on there. Um, just for a little bit uh, while you're actually, while I uh, prefer to put on the Mark Softer, um, my bad, the Mark Setter. Uh, and the way you're going to want to do this is first you're going to want to shake it up real nice, just like that. And you're going to want to take your part and... Uh, put the mark setter um, You're gonna want to paint it on to the area where you're gonna want to apply your decal um, I will mention uh, this works a lot better on Painted or already top coated um, Parts I don't exactly know why I'm pretty sure it's just because of the sleekness of the plastic originally um, That makes it this way uh, But it's not the worst thing in the world and I'll live so, now that our decal, yep, now that our decal is all done, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to gently take the paper as to not uh, take the decal off, put it onto the part, and slide off the decal, if I can get this here, there we go, and slide off the decal onto the part, and as you can see, because of the water, it's very slippery, and I can move it wherever I want. So I'm going to put it right above this little a vent place. There we go. Um, at least for what I'm assuming is a vent. And what you're going to want to do is dry up any extra... I'm going to take a better one. You're going to want to dry up any extra water um, that may be trapped under air bubbles or dry up any additional mark setter that you don't want on there. You don't have to worry about accidentally drying up the mark setter that's on the decal that's already on here, um, just because it sort of already gets trapped under the decal membrane, um, and that's what helps it settles into the plastic more. So, after you've got your decal um, all, you know, uh, done, uh, you're gonna wanna let it sit for a while. Um, you can put uh, m more decals onto the part, um, just, be careful as to not get any excess water onto the previous decal you already had on because it might uh, re-lubricate the decal and make it move again and you don't exactly want that. Um, trust me, it is not fun to have to do. So I just wanted to give a bit of advice for you, in case you're still confused. First and foremost, I am not a professional. Everything in this video is just my way of applying some water slide decals on my kits. So, as for advice, I would recommend being consistent with your decaling. Make sure you know what you want your decal to learn about, or you could even look up the decals online as there are provided zoomed in images of what the decals will say. If you're not going to do that, and you're going to want to do um, decaling all on your own, then I would recommend to try to remain being consistent with what they're warning. If, say, you wanted to use a batch of decals warning about splitting armor, then you're going to want to make sure to not use those decals on other parts as it could look very inconsistent and again 
do invest in Mr. Mark Setter and Softer. They will make the decals look a lot better, and on the plastic, and just in general, extremely beneficial in the long run. So, that is going to be it for the review slash how-to of the Child of Mecha decals. Highly recommended by me, and will make any custom look awesome. And thank you for watching.